27 countries in support of Serbian terrorism, the European Union shame. The European Union is a 27-member state bloc that is often held up as a beacon of democracy and human rights. However, the EU's record on holding Serbia accountable for its legacy of aggression and terrorism is nothing short of shameful. Serbia was the primary aggressor in all of the wars in the Balkans in the 1990s. Its forces committed numerous atrocities, including genocide and ethnic cleansing. Despite this, the EU has been reluctant to impose meaningful sanctions on Serbia. In fact, the EU has continued to support Serbia both financially and politically. In 2015, the EU granted Serbia candidate status, which means that it is now on track to join the bloc. The EU support for Serbia is a betrayal of the victims of the wars in the Balkans and it sends a message that the EU is not serious about holding Serbia accountable for its crimes. Why has the European Union failed to act against Serbia? There are a number of reasons why the European Union has failed to act against Serbia. One reason is that Serbia is a strategically important country. It is located in the heart of the Balkans and it has close ties to Russia. The European Union is concerned that imposing sanctions on Serbia could destabilize the region and lead to a conflict with Russia. Another reason for the European Union's reluctance to act against Serbia is that it has a large Serbian diaspora. The European Union does not want to alienate these voters, and it is concerned that imposing sanctions on Serbia could lead to violence against Serbs living in other parts of Europe. However, the European Union's failure to act against Serbia is no longer justified. Serbia has shown no willingness to change its ways. It continues to deny its role in the wars in the Balkans, and it refuses to cooperate with the International Criminal Tribunal for the former Yugoslavia. What must the European Union do? The European Union must now act to hold Serbia accountable for its crimes. It should impose strong sanctions on the country and it should work to isolate Serbia diplomatically. The European Union should also make it clear to Serbia that it will not be allowed to join the European Union until it has fully cooperated with the International Criminal Tribunal for the former Yugoslavia and has made amends for its crimes. The European Union has a moral and legal obligation to hold Serbia accountable for its crimes. The failure to act now would send a message that the European Union is willing to tolerate aggression and impunity. The European Union must act now to hold Serbia accountable for its crimes. It must impose strong sanctions on the country, isolate it diplomatically, and make it clear that it will not be allowed to join the European Union until it has fully cooperated with the International Criminal Tribunal for the former Yugoslavia and has made amends for its crimes. The European Union has a moral and legal obligation to act. The failure to do so would be a betrayal of the victims of the wars in the Balkans, a betrayal of the European Union's own values of human rights and democracy, and a slap in the face of justice. Serbia is a rogue state that has shown no remorse for its crimes. It continues to deny its role in the wars in the Balkans, and it refuses to cooperate with the International Criminal Tribunal for the former Yugoslavia. Serbia is a threat to the Balkans and to Europe as a whole. The European Union must act now to isolate Serbia and to bring it to justice. The European Union must show Serbia that it will not tolerate aggression and impunity. The European Union must send a clear message to Serbia, there is no place for you in the European Union until you have fully accounted for your crimes. The European Union must act now. The future of the Balkans and the future of Europe depend on it.